According to the World Economic Forum, in the next three years, over 7.2 million jobs will be replaced by robots, computers, or algorithms. Because of this, employers in the future are going to be looking towards candidates who can have skills that robots and computers are not yet threatened or to threat, such as interpersonal, small group, and problem-solving skills. At the same time, a coming trend in the workforce is the reduction of hierarch hierarchy and chain of command type management models, where companies are now shifting to small groups and collaborative teams. Companies like Apple, Google, and Pixar all enact these types of organization structures. This is good news for millennials, because research indicates that millennials are more effective, more productive, and report higher job satisfaction in these types of environments. However, a critical factor in the success of small groups is proximity. Proximity threatens the productivity of small groups. And in the global marketplace, groups can't always be in the same office, in the same building, sometimes not even on the same continent. So what do we do? Telepresence helps us create that social space over geographically separated individuals. Now, telepresence is not without its criticism. People say, this type of computer-mediated interaction isn't as good as face-to-face, -face. it's not real. And that's where our research comes in. We conducted an experiment to see if communication quality can be replicated over telepresence environments. So what we did was we had a between groups experimental design of 70 undergraduate students in Western Michigan University separated into groups of four to five individuals between two conditions, a telepresence group leader and an in-person group leader. These groups did two, uh, did a pro group problem solving activity where they had to come to a consensus, and then they rated the group leader on three different um, dimensions of communication quality. Credibility, which is a mixture of competence, character, and caring. Leadership quality in general, and social attraction, how much they wanted to be with this person. Results indicated that the telepresence group leader resulted in similar evaluations of communication quality. And in fact, group members preferred working with the telepresence leader in, on the dependent variables of social attraction and leadership quality. So this may rile some critics who say that these results are not real. But to end you with a quote with the matrix, if what we believe is real is what we can touch, what we can hear, taste, or smell, then real is just electrical symbols interpreted by our brain. Your relationships are real, whether they're mediated by a computer, a robot like in our study, or from a device in your pocket. This is going to affect you Broncos. Learn how to communicate with small groups and interpersonally in the workplace of tomorrow. Thank you.